All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic algorithm scripting, reverses string. All right. So now we're going to reverse the provided string and return the reverse string. For example, hello should become ole like that, right? So for this one, what we're going to do, let's get rid of this first because let's just not get confused. We're going to start off by making a for loop, all right? But we're going to we're going to we're going to iterate backwards. We'll start at the O and end at the H. So what we're going to do here is say for let I equal string dot length minus one, because as we know, it uh, the string dot length is zero, one, two, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five. All right. But five would be zero, one, two, three, four and off outside of the string. So we're doing minus one so we can start at the O. All right. And then what we're going to do here is say, while well, I is greater than or equal to zero, all right, because it needs to equal zero, but not anything less than that. We're going to say I minus minus, since we're starting at this one, minus, 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 all right? Hopefully that makes sense. So what we're going to do here is now we're going to have to have something to put these letters in. So let's come up here and let's say something like this, uh, let reversed equal an empty string like that. So now let's say reversed, hold on, reversed plus equals, uh, what are we doing? STR at I, and then we'll come down here and return reversed like that. All right, so let's come down here wrap this in parentheses and say console.log, all right? And we'll see we've got aloe right there. So it's good, let's run the test. It's good, but you know what? We can do this other ways. We definitely can. So let's, uh, let's, let's do something like this. Let's get this commented out so we can uh, refer to it if we need to. And we'll say something like this. We'll, we'll do a, uh, Whoops. We're going to do something different, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do one of those things where we did one liners uh, earlier in these lessons. So we'll say something like this. Uh, const reverse string equals S. And then we'll have this. We learned how to do this in the ES6 if you don't remember or if you do remember, whatever. Uh, so what we're going to do first is first, let's do a console.log here. Console dot log so we can test while we go. That's one of my favorite re main reasons why I like to use this method, right? So what we want to do first is we want to get this and we want to, uh, what do we want to do? We want to get this and break it up into pieces. So let's do something like this. S and let's put it in an array like this. Let's put it in an array so that we can break this up into pieces. And we'll say in front of that, as we can see right here, it's just hello right now. We'll use the spread syntax like we learned also, all right? If you don't remember about the spread syntax, we've got the spread syntax right here, all right? So now we can see it's H-E-L-L-O, <coughs> pardon me, each one of these letters in its own elements, all right? So what we want to do now is reverse it. So let's use something that we didn't learn, this reverse method. And as you can probably imagine, if we say, uh, what is it? An array dot reverse like this, it'll just reverse it for us, right? So let's come down here and let's say S, we've got this array dot reverse like that. And you can see now it's O-L-L-E-H. So now all we got to do is join these together and it'll look good. So we're going to do another thing that we didn't learn and we're going to use the join method, which if we put join and then join it by an empty string. So let's say this, let's go dot join by an empty string. You can see it's just like this and you can read about the join method right here. Uh, basically that's what it's all about, but let's just to get through the video, let's, uh, leave it at that. So we can see the answers like that. Let's get rid of this console.log because we don't need it anymore. 
All right, and the answer's right there. So let's run the test and it looks good and submit it, all right? So as you can see, that was a little bit difficult. Both ways were a little bit difficult, all right? Uh, that being said, uh, here's the spiel. I was talking about it in the last one. If you're having trouble with these, just come over to Code Wars and uh, make yourself an account and just start over here at the 8Q. They're the easiest. Go all the way down to, I'd say, 5Q is when you're, uh, when you're gonna be good to go. And you can just skip over with the ones you don't wanna do. It doesn't really matter, just so you can get familiar with it, all right? And uh, if, you've, if you're having trouble with any of these, I've got hundreds of these videos. And if uh, you're on one that I don't have a video for and you want it, just let me know in a comment. If uh, any of the videos are hard, if I explain it too uh, poorly, just let me know, I will remake it. Don't, uh, trust me, I'm, I'm here to make more videos, trust me. Uh, so there we go on that. So now we're on to factorialize a number and we'll see you next time.